So I was watching this video about um, this uh, one world government and uh, there was this quote and it was coming from uh, 40 years. David Rockefeller. And it said uh, he'd been accused of something of, uh, of preparing a one world government. And if that was the accusation, don't quote me on exactly what he said. That uh, he was he was guilty of that, of doing a one, wanting to do a one world government, and he was proud of it. And I started thinking, one world government, right? What would that mean? I mean the same masters would control all of us. Because I remember thinking myself, Imagine there's no countries. Who would the countries war against? Huh? What wars could be waged if there was no country? If there was no race, there would be no racism. If there was no separation between the religions, there would be, there's been genocides, massacres done because of religion. So I'm just confused, you know. I'm just confused about the whole thing. The whole everything. Sometimes I think what's to come, this is it, is that I have my days. Sometimes I think what's to come is uh, the people, they almost deserve it. Because right now the world is co not completely, but it's wicked. It's just full of evil. It's full of greed. It's full of people just worrying about themselves and forgetting others. They worry about what others think so they can feel better about themselves. Mm. Like I was writing, it's, uh, it's going to be horrible, but I don't know. I hope something good is going to come out of it. And... Uh, I see it like almost like the figuratively speaking, figuratively, metaphorically, like the waves that's gonna come, like uh, it's like you know if like kids throwing garbage like or when like a uh, a dead fish will go on like the, the shore. And then like a big wave will come. And then when 
it's gonna like swallow it up into the ocean and then like the shore becomes like I actually don't even know that much about the ocean. I'm just imagining that's what it is in my head. I've only been near a beach very few times in my life. I, I'm from cement. So I imagine the wave comes in and then takes all the garbage in. That's how I see like what's going to happen to the world, you know? It's gonna come and like all the garbage and the evil that's that's there is gonna come and get swept away. There's gonna be nothing left. Maybe the, I think there's still always gonna be garbage, but I don't know. It's like that, uh, like that John Lennon song, the Imagine song. No country, no religion, whatever. But I don't think anything. I don't think anything with the word government can be good. One world. I think we can't just. I think the, the, the whole world, the, the word government is, is meant to dominate. And, but this, this uh, phrase made me think of that. One world government, you know? Imagine there was one government for the whole world. Would it be easier for them to manipulate us? Or would it stop governments from fighting? Although I think they've all been working together since a long time. Like I said, it's like uh, if you work in, in, in an office or a McDonald's or in a drug ring or whatever, you're just selling dope or something. It's all the same has different aspects but you'll be on the same team but you might compete with uh, your employee to move up the ladder so I think like one world government is uh, it's not it's nothing with the word government can be good but the concept of it made me, I don't know. I'm just confused. And, uh, but it's good. It's, I think I'm changing. I started, we always say that we don't give a fuck about what others think or whatever. We will say that, but it's hard to live in a world where function as how they want you to function, being completely open what what you believe, or, well, not what you believe, or open about what you feel or being honest, you know? Always living in fear of not uh, what others will think, or that's that's not the right way. Maybe because I've been, I spent most of my life in prison and shit, and like it or not, well, I, I guess it's in a way it's not different than outside. The way others see you defines how you're going to spend your time. So if you're perceived to have weakness, if you're perceived to at any moment, then that's going to define whether people will just 
respect you and leave you be. Well, I don't know. I'm just saying whatever comes to mind, you know. And, uh, yeah, I don't know, that's it.